So the Ariana's vow, the sniper hand cannon, the PvP beast if used right and paired with the right weapon. To everyone who has this weapon and has the catalyst, today I bring you info on the catalyst and what it does, as well as giving you tips and tricks in getting this done as soon as possible. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps out and subscribe if you want to see more daily Destiny 2 videos. So the Ariana's Vow Catalyst is so long to complete it's unbelievable and guys it doesn't even end after completing the field testing quest for the actual catalyst. Once you complete this you rewarded the catalyst for your weapon but you have to complete another step to apply the catalyst. Wow! So firstly the Vow quest to unlock the catalyst requires you to complete activities in either Gambit, PvP, Vex Offensive or Strikes to gain yourself percentage towards this super long ass bar. But firstly let me tell you, if you don't have both season pass catalyst quest boosts unlocked, don't bother wasting your time trying to complete this quest. That's unless you've already started, I mean this unlock saves you a ton of time. So unless your number one priority as of now is to unlock the catalyst, and you don't have these unlocked then keep going but if you are watching these stuck at a certain percentage a low percentage stay where you are enjoy the game until you get these boosts unlocked that's my advice now once you do get both these boosts unlocked the first one being at 11 and the second one being at rank 22 of the battle pass things indeed do go a little bit quicker but still it takes some time here are what activities give you in terms of percentages towards this quest Heroic Strikes add 1%, each Nightfall the Ordeal adds 0%, each Planetary Strike adds 0.5%, each Gambit Match adds 1%, each Gambit Prime Match adds 2%, each Vex Offensive Run adds 1%, and each Crucible Quick Play awards uh, 0 to 0.5%. Now thanks to Space Vegan over on Reddit for these numbers. So without doubt people, Gambit Prime is the quickest way to get that percentage up with 2% a game. Now you can play Gambit Prime with any weapons you want and swap into the Ariana's Vow at the end just before the match ends, you are good to do that. And in total it will take you 50 matches of Gambit Prime to complete the Vow quest for the EV Catalyst. So it's still quite a lot of games even though Gambit Prime games can go quick if you're in a team of people with more than a few brain cells. So once you are done here guys head back to the gunsmith and you are rewarded the Catalyst. But it doesn't end there. You then have to get kills with a weapon to unlock it and apply it to your EV. And the total number of kills needed are 500. Now in my opinion the best place to do this is the risk reward mission. Uh, the quest on the EDZ. With the unlimited spawning of ads. Basically load this up, jump down to your left. Kill the fallen surrounding this room. Stand on top of the room, look down. And fallen will constantly spawn over and over again. Now if you've already completed this quest. The risk reward quest, your next best place is within the last wish raid within the Shiro Chi encounter. To get here you will have to use the wall of wishes and enter the code you can see on screen now. Once here drop a raid banner, open the door, kill all the taken, die, rinse and repeat. Now there are other places you can get these 500 kills, Vex Offensive is decent too and if you plan on playing that you may as well do it there. So once you have the 500 kills, the catalyst is yours. And the added benefits are pretty good. You get 3 extra bullets in your mag, taking your mag size up from 6 to 9. As well as the additional perk of auto loading holster, which automatically reloads your weapon after it being hosted for a short time. Not bad at all people. And yeah guys, these in my opinion the quickest methods in getting a catalyst for the Ariana's Vow. A weapon which quite a lot of people seem to be loving right here. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and want to see more Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.